It is currently 6 in the morning on a Tuesday and in a couple of hours I've got a meeting over in Cologne, Germany. It's about a two and a half hour drive, but I'm gonna be going to Gamescom the entire week. I'm so very much so looking forward to it. Normally whenever I go to an event I need to fly out and there's a taxi and I need to like do a heck of a lot of traveling, but for once there is a massive event over at this side of the planet. Destination by 901. Aber natürlich, Leute, willkommen in Deutschland. And really, only an hour or so later, I'm already in Germany. Anyhow, it has been a very relaxing drive so far. I haven't really run into any issues whatsoever. The nice thing is that even though I'm driving like six, seven, eight in the morning, it's currently the holiday season. So, I mean, we don't really need to worry about a whole lot. There's just no cars whatsoever. I mean, look at the road. There's no one. <laughs> There's just literally not a single water. Okay, well, there are a couple, but you get the idea. I guess I spoke too soon. Great. So if I'm not mistaken, that's me there in time. I was indeed in the correct place. So this is the room I will be staying in until the Sunday. Apparently they already had another room booked for me as well. I am now apparently in one of the superior rooms. It doesn't seem to be, you know, very big at all, but... I mean, apparently being in one of the superior rooms, that means you get free high-speed internet, so I'm okay with that. Now the lady at the desk also had a letter for me, apparently from Blizzard. It is apparently the pass as well as the, you know, the wristbands that I need to get into Gamescom. I'm not entirely sure why I need two of those, but hey. When does this end? Is this like a standoff? Oh my god, this is, this is gone meta. We've gone meta. Over here we have Winter in his natural habitat getting my account to Grandmaster. So we've spent the last hour or so setting up the computers here at Gamescom because we're gonna be streaming for a couple of days. Thing is, just to show you from my end, it gets a little bit more complicated than at home. So here's what we're working with. We got an audio interface the size of, I don't know, like most of my desk. We're running with two computers who are going to be locked down right below the audio interface. One of the computers that we're gonna be gaming on is connected to the middle monitor. However, the other one is connected to the ones on the outside. Then there are two sets of mice and keyboards that we'll be using for either of the computers, depending on whether or not we're streaming or just talking. It's actually kind of strange to see this place without any people in it. It's so clean right now. I remember from like a year ago when I was here just as a visitor and this entire place was crowded. So today has been a very long day of just preparing for the actual show, which is starting off tomorrow, which is Wednesday, all the way until Sunday. Dinner's looking good. All right, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be the very first day of Gamescom. It's gonna last all the way up until Sunday, but today the first visitor should be arriving. I'm gonna be streaming right from Gamescom for probably about four hours is what the schedule says, but I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe stream a little bit longer. And other than that, I believe I am practically free to just have a look at the event itself. Then tonight, there's going to be a private party at the Legion Cafe in the center of Cologne, which is obviously going to be a reference to the World of Warcraft Legion expansion that's coming out very, very soon. But but anyway, that should be a lot of fun, as obviously that's going to be like a nerdy cafe and there's gonna be free drinks and free food. Anyhow, it's currently 8 in the morning, I really need to make sure that I get to breakfast because the shuttle is leaving in about 20 minutes.
Alrighty, so I just finished up my own live stream. It's been a very long one actually. I streamed for about six hours straight, had an interview with one of the developers at the very end of it. And all in all, I'm very happy with the way things turned out to be. Quick trip back to the hotel, we're gonna be headed to the Legion Cafe next. I have about a half hour to try and grab some food. I got a very romantic dinner date with the one and only. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, he's gotta be so smart, right? Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> I'm in a vlog. I always Woo! wanted to be in a vlog. You, you've been in vlogs before. I've That's seen your true, face. <laughs> All right. So I heard about going to the Legion Cafe, and I assumed it would just be, you know, maybe a little bit World of Warcraft themed. But basically, this entire place is just made up with Legion-specific things. This is looking really cool. I made it back to the hotel. Sweet. Turns out waking up today is significantly more difficult than yesterday. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay, so today is the very first day where there's actually going to be a ton of people at Gamescom. I'll be streaming StarCraft and I'll also make sure to play some show matches for Heroes of the Storm, but apparently the floodgates have been open. Alright, so I just finished up my stream, but it turned out the venue that I'm at filled up a little. This is where I've been streaming. This is what I've been looking at. So we're gonna be playing the Heroes of the Storm Romania show matches soon, but apparently we're playing on the new maps that I haven't actually played yet. The longer you capture these two points, the more Zerg you're going to accrue in your holding pants. Alright, so we're going on stage soon, are we ready? Yay! We just took a whopping victory, very very nice game. So we actually just played one of the most epic games that I've ever played of Heroes of the Storm and we ended up picking about a 30 minute victory I think it was. Absolutely crazy games, we got a little bit of vlog section going on yeah. right now. <laughs> but man, we ended up winning there, we played on one of the new Heroes of the Storm maps and all things considered, we managed to win in front of an audience and you know, I was playing some Dahaka and I didn't miss any of my cues. So hey, I'm pretty happy about that. So they're just about to share the Bastion short for the very first time ever. And it turns out there's quite a lot of people interested in it. This entire place is absolutely packed. There's supposed to be like 80,000 people here today. It seems to be that most of them at the very least managed their way over here now. Now lucky for me, I'm going to be able to watch it right from that screen here. right now we're walking across this bridge the amount of keys on this bridge I guess they're like to I don't know but the entire side of the bridge is just filled with people and like you know names and locks and whatnot it's kind of cute It's pretty insane how fast time is going by. I mean, it's already Friday right now. Today is supposed to be one of the most busy days of Gamescom. I remember in 2015, you had about, I don't know, like a thousand people in line just to play a match of Overwatch. So we made it back to the venue. Have a look at this.
have about an hour until my next activity, but I do get a chance right now to play the new map in Overwatch. Today we are playing in the finals. We gotta go up against a team of called the Warriors. And all things considered, their team composition, generally speaking, should be a little bit better. But anyhow, in the end, it doesn't really matter too much what the composition is. You can easily pick up the victory. So we're once again getting ready in order to win the tournament today. All things considered, I think we're confident. There are quite a bunch of people here though. So we ended up winning a match which is practically impossible. It's absolutely insane. We actually won the tournament. Obviously we had Zagara on the team as well right here in Image. Yeah. Great job dude. And apparently there's a lot of Hungarian people that follow the channel. Oh, yeah. we know this guy. We're a little bit later right now and I still can't quite believe it. I mean, generally speaking, I think in perfect circumstances, the team composition we were going up against in the finals was far better than ours. But our strategy was to simply soak experience as I think we would be losing every single team fight but we could quite easily split push with Avatar and Zagara. But it seemed that the opposing team apparently lost focus halfway through and we managed to just simply drag out the victory. So I actually have a trophy as well, which is just incredible. I've never, I've never had a, a, you know, a video game trophy before, but look at this thing. So we just had to end the streams as Gamescom is actually shutting down. Look how empty it is. Anyway, this guy right here just finished an 11 hour long stream. You're crazy. That was a good start. And so it's 10 p.m. and we made it finally to a place where we can actually eat, but apparently it's, it's British. It's pretty insane how it's already Saturday right now. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of feels like it's only been a day or two ago that I got here, but it's already been like, I don't know, like four or five full days. Anyhow, it is currently 8 in the morning. I'm technically not streaming until 5 p.m., but I do have some videos to edit. I managed to do some interviews, obviously, and I got some unique gameplay, in particular from Alarak. So we gotta get editing on that today. It's been pretty awesome, though, to see people wearing the Kapow shirt, for example. I mean, I'm not wearing one right now myself, but I've seen a couple of you walking around with one. <laughs> about the entire morning, the last four hours or so, just simply editing a couple of the interviews as well as a video about Alarak. And hopefully I'll be able to start my stream shortly. I'm actually not scheduled to start until about 5 p.m., but I know that the other guys started a little bit earlier too. Winter's already making fun of me for just pulling out the camera now. It's the end of another day of live streaming. It's actually already, let's see, 8.30 p.m. It's probably very late. And now it's already Sunday. I packed up all of my stuff and I'm gonna be checking out of the hotel, but there's one more day of live streaming and one more day of Gamescom. And after another long day, it is now the end of Gamescom. Everyone is just about to pack up and leave. Just taking a quick selfie. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so that's it. That is Gamescom done. Now everyone else is going back to the hotel and I'm here as well. However, most of them are flying out in the morning. But the nice thing is that I obviously drove up here so I'm gonna be heading back right now. Got myself a Red Bull.
The sun has gone down, but I am finally home. Now, before going to sleep, I just very quickly wanted to mention that this week has been absolutely awesome. Even though I'm dead tired right now, I've not really been, you know, sleeping any more than five, six hours a night, it seems like. All in all, it has been absolutely incredible to meet so many of you at Gamescom. I mean, I'm just the guy who makes YouTube videos, but that so many of you would like to get autographs and take pictures of me and whatnot, it's, it's, it's incredible, guys. It's really, really cool. So thank you so much for watching these videos. You guys are the best. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. Boo!